Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Playing the Classics. Um, today I've got a real classic for you. It's uh, the Wayne's World adventure game from 1993. Yes, this game is 21 years old, so I guess it really counts as a classic. Um, why this game? It's uh, pretty easy. I. Uh, Wayne's World! Wayne's oh yeah. World! Party time! Excellent! Party time! Excellent! I love this. It's so stupid, I love it. Um, why this game? Because um, I saw a review of the NES and uh, Super Nintendo version. And um, I'm going to link the review below later on. Oh, we're not mental or anything, so don't be afraid. Oh, we got My sound. Name is Wayne and this is Garth. We got sound. We actually have a uh, voice. This is uh, something unusual for a game from this era, from this year. You have to think about that most of the games from this time came on floppy disks and uh, not even the 3.1 inch. Um, some even still came on the 4.25 uh, okay. inch. Uh, let's just watch the intro here. I'm going to shut up. Yeah. Not. So if you ever consider using this not um, to try it and be sarcastic, uh, think about that this little word or this usage is older than you, maybe. It was cool in the early 90s. Uh, maybe it was cool in the early 90s, I don't know. So we are uh, apparently live in the show of Wayne, um, and uh, we are witnessing the call-ins. Might happen. <laughs> and monkeys might fly out of my butt. They got a lot of uh, tunes and a lot of uh, things and quotes uh, from. Oh yeah, <laughs> from the actual movie. That's great. <laughs> I still can't believe that this same Mike Myers <laughs> played Austin Powers only three years later. Three years? Or two years? Three years! Get the net! Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Wait. Hey. Good call, girl. <laughs> okay. Um. I think uh, the Madonna thing is slightly outdated in the year 2014. We're not. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Look, nah. looked like the programmers uh, didn't really have the opportunity to uh, record some audio files. It looks a bit like they used only footage, audio footage from the movie. I think there says why. Yeah. It, Definitely. <laughs> I'm a babe voice. <laughs> this Demona Dumont. She's a babe. God, I love this woman. Cool. <laughs> I wonder if this uh, gets annoying at some point. When 
when you hear the exact same audio tunes over and over. As said, this game came on floppy disks once, so you had 1.44 megabytes of uh, excuse me, excuse me, of uh, storage per floppy disk, and um, oh, what do you read there? We're going to be cancelled. The mayor will cancel the public TV station. Pretty on, good. Pretty on, wait. I so want to sing along. I so want to sing along. Oh, this is so beautiful. Extreme close up! <laughs> Extreme close up, yeah. Okay, so that was the intro, and it told us a little bit of the story. We're going to get cancelled. So, does the mouse work? Pizza. Pizza is always a great idea. <laughs> Pizza ton. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Outrageous charitable donations. Yeah, that's exactly like uh, I make my pizza. I can cook with my phone. That's a very underrated uh, ability. Those old uh, point and click games have. Um, they are very charming. I, I love them. I love this this um, very calm music in the background. Uh, this this uh, game sound. I love the very slow pace. I love uh, that you have to think about what you do. Um, I don't think they would work that good today. There are quite a few point-and-click adventures today, like uh, the Deponia series. If you know them, um, which are quite good, but um, I think gaming and gamers in general have evolved, and um, you have to find the time for this kind of games. The hand-drawn backgrounds, uh, the, the colorful backgrounds, uh, and combined with the low resolution, this is something that's that's really quite. Uh, it has its own beauty. Um, if you are some years younger than me, uh, and by some years I mean if you are maybe around 18 or 16 or something like this, so a teenager or a very young man, I would love to hear your thoughts about this kind of uh, style, this kind of uh, graphic style. Uh, I grew up with this. Um, I was a kid or a teenager when this was uh, the norm. Oh, there we have our actions menu. Look at stairs. Nope. We're going to <laughs> yeah, the laundry room. My mom doesn't do this anymore. My wife does this. <laughs> Mirth will be an onboard municipal navigation system. <laughs> okay. 
Aurora, Illinois. Um, yeah, if you are a young gamer, uh, please uh, let me know what you think about this uh, this style. I grew up with this. I, I was, uh, I would think, uh, as I said, a kid or a teenager in this time, and it was the norm. And um, games like this or um, Day of the Tentacle or the Indiana Jones adventure games were uh, quite impressive for me at the time. My first uh, experience or my first uh, gaming experience was my NES. Then uh, I got a Game Boy. Um, and then my first PC. A 486. DX 250 with 50 megahertz, 200 megabyte of hard drive, 8 megabyte RAM. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, they're they're using the sound files again. Excuse me. But they're not. Uh... Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> but they're not using uh, them uh, too much. This is uh, quite good. Okay, nothing to do here. There is uh, a guy. You schmutz. Oh. I have to say, I know that uh, it's funny for <laughs> English speaking people to use some uh, syllabies that sound like uh, they are German, but they're actually not a word or they're horribly misused. Um, I am German and I, I can't help but cringe every time when I read or see something like this. Uh, Schmutz means literally translated uh, dirt, but you're not using this. You are not saying uh, you dirt. You don't do this. Um, What are you guys doing in here? Yeah, we, we had that already. I don't know really if I should be offended that every crazy uh, engineer or science uh, scientist is German or if I should be glad that we are not portrayed as hobos every time <laughs> or in every media today. I mean, even if they, those guys are crazy, they are still scientists, they are still very smart people, so... We got that going uh, on for us, which is nice. In that picture of Bill Murray here. I'm very busy. Yeah, that is, uh, sadly, is uh, how a German would say this. Very busy. Ich bin sehr beschäftigt. Yep. Make it clear that you are very busy. You're not only busy, you're very busy. Which is uh, two steps above busy. Actually, not one step, it's two steps. So if you have a German co worker and he says he's very busy, uh, don't go near him. He might just uh, solve word hunger or something like this. It's possible no that he's uh, doing something very important and not only acting like this. No way! Way! Mm -hmm. It looks as if there is nothing much Are more to do here. Um, I thought long about uh, making a video about this game. I mean, I love it. I uh, bought it when I was a kid. Extreme close up. Wah! Oh, yeah. Our to-do list. Uh, I uh, loved it, as I said. Um, 
I bought it when I was a kid and I might have the original discs laying around in the attic in a big dusty box. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, if you're lucky you can still get it on Amazon. Um, I said in another video I copied a lot of my old um, games uh, on my f one of my first bigger hard drives, even installation folders. I have quite a thing for installation folders and source folders. Um, my PCs were not always the fastest, but um, in terms of memory and storage, they were quite impressive. Except my first PC. So I always uh, made a habit out of uh, backing up and securing all my um, yeah, disks. Back again. Yeah. It can be uh, quite boring to watch this. Uh, this was uh, actually one of my biggest fears that uh, you see this video and think, oh my god, it's so ugly, it's so old. This guy is just talking gibberish and uh, I don't even like uh, PC gaming. Or something like that. Um, no, but um, watching people play point and click adventures is uh, something you need a lot of uh, time for. And uh, they're even slow paced uh, when you play them yourself. So the pace is even slower when you're watching them. Um, those things are. Those old games are not really GUI wonders, so um, some modern things that uh, you for, take for granted right now, um, like uh, when you have already asked the question that it is grayed out, or that um, yeah the answer can be uh, skipped, or the whole dialogue that follows can be skipped because you already uh, asked this question. All those things are not in place in those old games. Uh, so if you click twice on the same question like I did a uh, few times here, uh, you have to go through all of this uh, on and on and on. Um, if you know what to do in those old games, you can beat this, uh, those kind of point-and-click adventures in maybe two hours, two or three hours. If you just uh, uh, know what to do, what to combine, what to use, etc. etc. But um, it's uh, uh, not fun. I played, I think it was Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis uh, after many years because I wanted to see all the uh, drawn stages, the beautiful hand drawn stages again and uh, backgrounds. I played it with a walkthrough and I played, these, uh, played it uh, strictly by book uh, and um, I saw everything but that was not fun. Um, the trying and the error and uh, the frustration and then finally thinking of oh wait I've got this thing in my inventory um, I should try to use oh this works and I'm one step farther those things are what uh, make those games special um, so uh, this is also the reason why I'm only um, making this one episode right now um, of the Wayne's World game. Uh, I'm thinking about making more. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, please uh, tell me if you want to see more. If you want to try me and get frustrated. Um, tell me. Uh, because I don't really know if uh, it wouldn't be too much. A complete playthrough of this game might be a bit overkill. On the one hand, I uh, don't think it's um, fun to watch and um, there's the network engineer in me uh, saying it's a waste of storage. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, 
a thing when you work uh, in IT for over a decade. Um, there's just no use for videos no one will watch. Why should I upload them? Why should I bother the Google or YouTube servers with a lot of uh, material that I'm pretty sure no one is going to watch, that uh, not even I would find interesting? And um, this is the one point. Me personally, I wouldn't find it interesting. Um, and the, the second is, I don't want to spoil the game. If you're going to say, hey, I'm, I love these old games, I want to try this, and I'm even a fan of Mike Myers, and uh, I didn't even know this existed, or I uh, wanted to try this uh, for a long time, um, then uh, I pretty much would spoil this game for you, if I showed you everything. Um, these are the main reasons. On the one hand, I, I'm not sure you would like to watch this, uh, but of course, uh, if enough people say, hey, this is great, uh, keep on the work and uh, make another episode of this game, um, then of course I'm going to make another episode. Um, this is uh, this video has roughly 38 minutes, so this is a lot of uh, footage actually to get into the game and to show you uh, what it's about. Um, Use ticket. Extreme Club. That's so neat. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm quite a bit happy that they uh, don't use the audio files too much. And uh, the humor of the movies is uh, pretty much got pretty much uh, transferred in this game. Uh, unlike the console versions, uh, there was a NES and SNES version, and uh, there are um, yeah uh, videos on that on YouTube. Uh, they look like they were a disgrace, to say the least. So I felt compelled to uh, make this little thing here. So it's uh, fact time, um, I think. Ooh. Go to the next one. Um, the original movie Wayne's World was uh, made in 1992. Um, main actor was Mike Myers, as uh, many of you, or I would think all of you might know. Um, the same guy that played uh, Austin Powers and Dr. Evil and uh, uh, Fat Bastard and I don't know, a lot, a lot of more, a lot more characters, I think, uh, in the Austin Powers saga, saga and uh, the Love Guru, um, which got a lot of, uh, yeah, bad reputation. I kind of liked it. A bit silly, maybe, but not bad. Um, and, uh, the lovely Tia Korea is the female lead. Um, she had a role in a, ni a 90s uh, action series, uh, one of these uh, weekend action series. She played a archaeologist, I think? Relic Hunter? What was it called? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was called Relic Hunter. Um, she was uh, one of my teenage crushes, Tia Korea, beautiful woman, and uh, still is. Yeah, she was the female lead. Um, Garth was played by uh, Dana Carvey. Um, I have to admit, I don't really know what he's been up to the latest time or the last years. Uh, I couldn't even name other project he was involved in. But that's uh, mostly because I'm not that uh, good with uh, celebrities and they're all yeah, alive. It's just not my kind of thing. Uh, I knew a few names, I knew a, new, I knew a few faces, um, like here Mike Myers or like uh, T. 
tier Korea where I have some kind of special bond to because um, the Wayne's World movies and uh, the Austin Powers movies were kind of uh, a thing in my childhood. But um, that's pretty much all about it. I'm not so stoked about celebrities. That's just uncalled for, I think. Um, for example, um, the set of Monuments Man was here in this area. Um, it was on, uh, in other places too, of course, but um, they made Monuments Man in uh, my city here, a s very small, sleepy little Can German city. Um, and they, they shot a few scenes here and they shot a few scenes um, in the city where I work and they lived in the city where I work. Um, those uh, two small towns are actually uh, uh, 12 miles apart. And um, the only thing I <laughs> remember from the time they uh, did the, the, the uh, movie here in this area me was me being angry because uh, some roads were closed. <laughs> Are you and suddenly I Are you felt very very sad for the people of downtown New York or Manhattan because uh, I thought about the fact that almost every major movie is shot in this area so they had to uh, uh, yeah endure this excuse me road closing almost every day or every second day this must be horrible uh, especially for a place that is already excuse packed me? like down on it The mayor's house. <laughs> so we already seen a few places. I can't uh, say it loud and often enough. I love those hand-drawn backgrounds. They give me this warm feeling. I, I, it's hard to explain. If you're in your early 30s like me, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Um, Maybe you know it if you're younger or older, I don't know. If you're a woman. I'm also a woman, kind of. So I'm a chick with a beard. And beer belly. Um. Yeah, Wayne's World, um, the movies, and uh, uh, so the, the first and the second time, as uh, the first and second movie, and uh, this game, they are, uh, yeah, playing with the stereotypes uh, of the early 90s, and they are portraying them perfectly. Really great. If you think these are things that were pretty uh, unique in the US, uh, no. Um, people used to live and act like that even here in Europe. Uh, I was a boy or an early teen, but um, people were pretty much the same everywhere in the Western world. Youth culture spreads in yeah months. Uh, a few decades ago in weeks and um, thanks to the internet um, there is no such such thing as uh, youth culture being behind something. Excuse if me? there is a new song that is a big hit in one country and uh, people in another country love it, it's a matter of hours uh, before it uh, becomes popular in another country on the other side of the world. I love that. I love that uh, about the new technologies. You have no delay. You have no cultural delay. But I'm, uh, yeah, leaving my main theme here. Uh, you see in the background that I'm still trying to get uh, everything together here and uh, try to collect items to combine them pretty much without any success. Excuse me. I managed to buy one donut and a lottery yeah! ticket. Uh, 
And that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> professor von Ludwigs. Yes, this German name again. <laughs> with a professor. Uh, okay. I'm not going anywhere here. Um, this game was released one year after the movie. Uh, the, uh, the movie was released in, two th uh, in 1992, this game was released in 1993, uh, as far as I know, only for DOS. Um, if you're lucky you can Are get you some uh, copies, some old copies on Amazon or eBay. It's still available from time to Are time. Are you mental? Um, Are you mental? Um, it's... Yeah. Are you mental? It made, it's made by Capstone. I don't know if they are still in the trade. As if. As if. I haven't seen anything for a while from them. As if. Uh, the ratings were pretty uh, bad. Um, as far as I remember, um, the German ratings were between 20 and 60 percent. So you have these uh, so-and-so out of 100, so it's basically a percentage uh, of ratings. And if I remember correctly, the PC Joker gave only 35, 31 percent with a okay game being in the 60s uh, and the low 70s, a good game being in the 70s and 80s and a great game being in the 80s and 90s uh, of this uh, uh, yeah numbers. So they thought it was pretty shit. Um, I don't remember if the original disc version had these audio files in this. I have to admit I took this special version I'm screening here from an abandonware uh, site, uh, but just because I was too lazy to get out my old copy and uh, to yeah, somehow reactivate my floppy disks. I don't even know if they're still there. I used my uh, copied version first. Uh, encountered some problems and uh, then I downloaded this version from a, uh, a Benadware site and this this worked flawlessly. I'm not going to link it because I'm not pre uh, sure if this is 100% uh, legal at this point. Um, for me it is, I think, because I own the original ones and I still uh, can yeah, <laughs> send a picture of the original box if uh, someone wants to see it. Um, I'm also one of those guys uh, that uh, yeah, went around uh, 2000, uh, the millennium, and uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, went to flea markets and bought uh, boxes of old games for a few bucks. I remember sp uh, one special deal I had with an older guy who told me at the flea market that he had cancer and that he got get rid gets rid of all of his stuff so that his uh, wife doesn't have to deal with this after he's like he told me a very sob story and I felt really really bad for him but I bought I think 40 games in really great condition it was around 40 PC games from the last decade in really great condition uh, partially wrapped in foil uh, Always the big collector editions available with big handbooks. I had one uh, role play game, I, I don't know what kind of it was. I think it was the Karandia. Karandia? Is it called Karandia? Uh, series which had a handbook of a few hundred pages. Uh, this is insane if you think about it today. Yeah, anyway, he told me this stop story. Stop story. And I bought this whole box for 20 Deutsche Mark. This is around uh, 10 Euro. This became around 10 Euro two years later. And uh, that wasn't much money at that time. 
So if you consider the uh, loss of air worth, I don't know, um, this would be around, I don't know, 5 or 6 euro, so maybe 7 or 8 dollars today, US dollars today, for around 40 games in pretty great condition, collector editions from the last decade. Not this game though. Um, this game I bought at Phobis. <laughs> yeah, they had that. Um, I remember that they. Uh, I don't know if some of you remember the Phobis uh, chain in Germany, computer and t uh, electronic stores. Um, they had uh, this game on the shelf, and I first thought it was the movie. Asked the guy behind the counter uh, why they are selling uh, movies. He told me this was actually the DOS game. Uh, some guy ordered it, they uh, got it from their... Uh, yeah, I don't know where they ordered that themselves. Um, but they specifically ordered this for, the, for one customer and he never picked it up. So uh, they waited half a year and then it sat in the store for another year and then I bought it. So it, it must have been around yeah, 1995. 1996 maybe, even. <sighs> Memories. Okay guys. Um, I hope I didn't uh, scare you away at this point. As said earlier, if you want me to make another one of this game, another video of this game, let me know. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if this is too much trivia for you, and uh, you think this uh, stupid bloke probably should shut up and just tell if it's really necessary, if there are really uh, important things. Um, if you think uh, we love you guys, uh, we want a baby from you, then please let me know this also. I'll see what I can do. Ah, uh, schmutz again. Ah. Okay. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see another one. Um, I'm going to stop here. And um, I would be glad if you uh, leave a comment. Maybe subscribe, maybe not. I mean, it's your uh, Google account. Um, you should do whatever you want to do. It's the same questions again. So, I'm going to save here, and uh, let's see if there's any need for a second episode, then we can continue from here. So, stay tuned for another episode.